Hi, James from jamesfu.net. In this video, I'm going to talk about a shortcut review and I'm going to do a new review in, on Shortcut in 2018. So two and a half years ago, I did a review on Shortcut and, uh, and since then that video has been well received and a lot of people have thanked me for making that video. Now, two and a half years later, uh, Shortcut have changed and there's a lot more features and a lot more improvements in Shortcut. So I thought that it's about time to cover this in a new review. Okay, the things about Shortcut that is still remain and I uh, use it uh, extensively is that Shortcut is still a very simple interface. Now in the beginning, uh, two years plus ago, uh, when you open Shortcut up, the screen is very uh, empty. It is just like a video player. Okay, but today when you open a shortcut up, uh, there is be something. Uh, you will see the timeline and there's the keyframes uh, tab open as well, which means uh, recently uh, keyframes has been added to shortcut and it is actually one of the most requested feature. With uh, keyframes, there's a lot of things you can do and I will cover that later in the video. So let's uh, head back over and uh, if you haven't seen my other video, I'm just going to uh, cover things I like about a shortcut. So if you are coming from a simpler video editor uh, like Movie Maker, you may find that most video editors are a little bit overwhelming because there's quite a lot of windows open and uh, sometimes it is a little bit cramped, especially if you don't have a large uh, LCD or large monitor, okay, if you are using a laptop. So Shortcut's uh, user interface is very friendly, it doesn't overwhelm you and it sort of uh, give you uh, the, the basics, but you can actually add more and you so actually can customize it. So there are things like when you open up now uh, the, the new shortcut, if you just install it, uh, you will see things like the uh, audio uh, meters. Okay, let me see if I could show you. All right, there will be a uh, peak meter. Yes, there will be a peak meter and there's also a job on the uh, right hand side. There will be the timeline at the bottom. So there's something on my timeline. So that's why you see it. So at the same time, you can actually close some of the windows that you don't need. So for me, this is basically the screen that I use. Of course, uh, I also open up the filters panel and I also open up the playlist uh, occasionally, okay, if I need it. So in this video, I'm going to need the playlist. Things that are still there that is very good, things like, uh, let's say, uh, simply creating transition is still there, very simple. All you need to do is to split the clip or if let's say there are two clips, you can actually just uh, drag and drop and you have a transition over here. Let me show you what I mean. Let me just mute this, okay? So you have a transition happening there and you can actually adjust the transition pretty easily. So uh, I find that some of the uh, more advanced video editors, sometimes they make transitions. Uh, making a transition is a little bit hassle, requiring uh, many more uh, mouse clicks. You can still do uh, multi-track editing, okay, picture in picture, all those are available in shortcut. You can also do green screening or chroma key, all those features are available in shortcut and they are pretty good. So the other, in the past, I wanted to explain uh, something called uh, audio scrubbing, but I didn't have uh, audio track. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I mean by audio, uh, audio scrubbing. Let me just uh, put this on so that I could hear myself, okay. So when I'm uh, scrubbing, and one of the most exciting things that I love, okay, so you can hear that as I pull the playhead, and it allows me to see where the waveform and hear the exact time I want to, let's say, split the clip. Let's say, for example, I want to split the things that all people are doing, including myself. So I can actually say I want to split it here. I can split it there. So by scrubbing the audio, it helps in knowing exactly which point to uh, split or cut off a section. Okay, and that's pretty useful if you're using doing tutorials like what I do uh, uh, fairly a lot. But it's also useful if let's say you are a person like me who tends to uh, mess up my words uh, quite often. All right, so uh, that is audio scrubbing. It is there and it is uh, still available. Now, what are some of the new features that uh, is in shortcut? Now, in the past, adding filters, you can add filters to an individual track. But since my last review, it is now possible to add filters to your entire uh, project. Okay, you can add it to the master. For example, uh, let's say you have uh, maybe two audio tracks, all right? And you have two audio tracks, you have actually made the sound uh, levels for the two tracks. Either one is louder, you know, whichever is this. 
Maybe you just want some background music. But after you have done all the edits, you found that your entire video is too soft. So you can now uh, apply a global uh, gain or loudness, all right? Increase the loudness for the entire video so that uh, you don't have to go back and adjust different in the tr individual tracks. So these uh, filters also work for say brightness and color grading, all right? So uh, it makes your, it just give, makes a shortcut so much more flexible. Uh, exporting a thumbnail okay so and this is particularly useful if you are say making uh, YouTube videos all right so let me just uh, remove this track here okay let me just uh, put this on put this on to the track here for example okay so let's say okay let's say I wanted to uh, create a thumbnail use a thumbnail from this uh, image here all I need to do is just go to file export frame I can export the frame and that will be uh, I can use this for my YouTube thumbnail so uh, it is actually a pretty useful feature and helps you uh, so much faster in uh, making videos and uploading them so let's say uh, YouTube or any other place else okay the I think the most important thing right now that's available is the uh, keyframes all right so keyframes allow things like scrolling text and the changing of environment so let's say I want to do a, a saturation, turn the clip from black and white back to say full color. Uh, this will uh, this will use uh, keyframes and keyframes feature will allow me to do that. Okay, let's uh, turn this to zero. Okay, and I'm going to turn uh, at the keyframes here at this point in time. Somewhere here, I want the saturation to go back to 100%. Okay, so let's uh, take a look. Alright, so that's where uh, keyframes come into the picture. Sorry for the pun. And uh, keyframes allow a lot of other things. For example, scrolling text, it allows you to uh, create uh, uh, movements, uh, pen and zoom, okay, which wasn't available until quite recently. So, uh, obviously, uh, there are some uh, things that uh, there's certainly some improvements. For this particular version of Shortcut, for what I've been doing, I find that it is pretty stable so let's see this is version 18.07.02 so like I mentioned shortcut is actively being developed so they may be, occasionally there may be some versions that are not as stable as you like right so you need to just uh, revert to an older version or wait for the updates let's say for example maybe in two to three months and then get the more stable version so uh, more features are being added, so I just uh, just wrap this uh, quick uh, review. Shortcut is not limited. Okay, you can do full HD or even 4K if your computer is up to it. There's no time limitation. You can do your video as long as an hour or more. I think that's about it, right? So uh, if you haven't checked out Shortcut, please head on over to shortcutapp.com. There's a few websites. Okay, uh, one is shortcutapp.com, uh, shortcut.com shortcut.org all those sites you can download it is actually from the same developer uh, they are safe i have used it i have used it extensively i think it is almost three years now that i have been using shortcut so uh oh yeah one other thing a shortcut is cross-platform so you can use it on windows linux and uh, ios ios mac os mac os i think right so um Try it out, it's totally free, you can uh, check and if you don't like it, you can always just uh, uninstall or delete it, right? No problems. Okay, so thanks for watching this video. I hope that this video has helped you and I want to wish you all the best in your video projects. Alright, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. And I also have a course to teach you how to use Shortcut from A to Z step by step. And that is an hour and a half course. Thanks for watching. This is James. Until the next time, bye-bye.